Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at the ARB awning brackets for your ARB base rack. If you're looking to get an awning onto your roof, well these are going to be the brackets that will help you do so. There are different awning brackets that ARB offers for different situations. If you're mounting your ARB awning to a non-ARB roof rack, one that has top channels, you'll want the universal brackets. If you are mounting a heavier awning that is up to the 270 degree style, then you're gonna want the heavy duty brackets. The next option is the quick release bracket, which makes it easier to remove the awning while keeping the brackets on the roof. And finally, you have what we have here, which are the standard brackets. This is what I would recommend because it has the hardware included. It's very straightforward. If you're not sure if you need anything extra special, you'll probably need this one. So with these brackets, you create a strong, solid base for your ARB awning or other brand awning if you choose to mount them. Like your other ARB accessories, this shares similar features, which is you have a steel bracket with a black powder coat finish. If you want to leave this on your roof, that finish allows it to stay corrosion resistant. It also utilizes that dovetail clamp and you have the option of using that clamp in different positions. So for some measurements, we measure from the clamp to where the awning mounts. So you can either get an inch and three quarter inches of height or an inch and three quarter inches of drop. This secures to the outside rail of your ARB base rack. Measuring from the rail to the back of the awning, that's going to be an inch and a half of clearance. That measurement will help you figure out if you have other space for other accessories. Since it does stay out on the perimeter, you can load up the interior of your platform with all the fun items. Now, the install process is very straightforward, so let's take a look. Depending on your awning, this will also change how you mount your bracket. So if you're using an ARB awning, notice how we have smaller holes diagonally. This is gonna be our pitch A holes. If you're using this bracket with a different brand's awning, it will be more likely to fit into these larger holes and these have a different pitch as well. So once you figure it out which type of awning you have, slide these bolts through the two tracks. You're then going to line the bolts up with the appropriate spots. In our case, pitch A. And see how that fits through. We're then going to slide the bracket on over and then you are gonna use the two included nuts as well as a 10 millimeter wrench. So since this is going to be a larger and heftier awning, I do recommend having a friend help you out with getting it set up onto your roof. And while Joe supports most of the weight, I'm going to go ahead and tighten down those bolts up top, securing the clamp. Once your awning is on there, this is a good time to double check that everything clears. Go ahead and open up doors. Go use other accessories on your tray. Open up your hatch. In our case here, if we move this just a bit forward, it would have been able to clear our hatch. So that is something I can go back, loosen some bolts, slide the awning over, and get that clearance. But with all that being said, the installation process of the brackets are very straightforward. As long as you follow the instructions for using the certain spots for different awnings, as well as measuring out to make sure you get the best fit on your tray. So if you are just looking for a standard bracket to secure your awning, I would say go ahead with these ones. If you are in a special situation, like using your awning on a different roof rack, or maybe you have an extra heavy awning, that's when you have those other options for you. But since your ARB awnings do not have brackets included, this should be your first option to get that secured. This right here was a look at the ARB awning brackets. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.